Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. Yes, yes, I know. I'm wearing the AirPods. It looks weird. I'm not flexing. Some of you are going to get it under your tree tomorrow, all right? I brought in a guest with me, though. D don't click away. I bring someone to the bedroom and you leave? I thought we had some here. I thought, I thought you love me. I have here Austin Burke. Austin, introduce yourself and tell the people what you do. Today, it's 3C and AB. Don't, don't click away, like Chris said. Listen, uh, everything is not awesome in this video. Oh, too easy, be too easy, don't. No. Sad, I'm sorry, the puns, too many puns. We're gonna be talking about some sad things, but I'm excited to join you, man. I had to bring someone along because getting straight into what we're gonna be talking about today, there is some sad news involved with the Lego movie and that franchise because as we know it, it's essentially completely gone, guys. If you don't know the Lego company, the people responsible for all those great little bricks that we built up and have great nostalgia for, they partnered up years ago with Warner Brothers to give us some really nice family-friendly content, the Lego movie. Well, that deal has come to a close now, and because of the financial reception that that franchise has gotten, Warner Brothers and Lego have now parted ways, and Universal now owns the rights to make future Lego movies. The reason this is sad is because essentially, what this means now if you wanted a lego movie 3 not gonna happen if you wanted to continue seeing emmett not gonna happen if you like will arnett's batman and wanted to see a lego batman movie 2 not gonna happen the essential lego movie universe that we know right now completely into dust austin please tell me you're as sad as me about this I am absolutely as sad, man. This is a big deal because these movies are so important. And yes, they've not steadily declined in quality, but they may not be as good as, say, the first Lego movie, the first Lego Batman movie were. Uh, and also the box office reception. Like you said, man, we've talked about this beforehand, but literally the second Lego film made half of what the first one made. So it makes a lot of sense that maybe they don't want to continue this franchise. But within that, it does mean that we're going to lose the characters that we care the most about. Now, going Going to Universal means that we're going to get some new interpretations, and they're definitely going to keep going with this IP, man. But for the characters that we know and love, it really is a sad day. And that to me is the craziest part here, that they decided to go with Universal out of all yeah. the studios because Warner Brothers 1 had a bunch of great IPs. I mean, one, you had the whole DC Universe. We could have had our own Lego Justice League movie, and that could have been the real Justice League. Release the brick cut as I like to say, now we're not going to get that at all. Yeah, I didn't mind Channing Tatum voice in Superman. I didn't mind Will Arnett's Batman movie. I actually really love that Batman movie, but that box office, no one was showing up and has led Lego to this decision. Now, I pulled up here some of the movies and properties that Universal owns to give you an idea of what the future of Lego is, because in the next three years, the Lego movie is basically being rebooted and they're going to have to start completely fresh with a new idea and new storylines. So, if they're not just going to go ahead and create something from scratch and give us their own version of an Emmett or another family in a basement that has a bunch of Legos involved, these are the potential movies they could give us. Austin, I want to hear your okay. opinion on this. Your face is on screen right now. They own the rights to the Fast and Furious. Would you watch a Lego <laughs> Fast and Furious movie? Uh, yes. They say family a lot. It's a family movie, <laughs> Lego, cars, racing. I can see that happening. Because of the yes or intrigue, no. <laughs> I think, yes, and seeing Vin Diesel and Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Lego form, sign me up for that, baby. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. Nothing but square heads for Vin Diesel there, okay? They also own the Jurassic Park franchise. Now, they make Jurassic Park Lego games. They could give us a Jurassic Park Lego movie. Would, would you watch that? I would watch that. That's actually something to me that feels very much... But then you look at it again, it's like, well, well, Chris Pratt, if they go with his character, they've already kind of done that in the Lego movie sequel. So it's interesting, though. I'm, I'm okay with that. Another popular IP that I still wonder if it would even translate, Harry Potter. Yes. Would you watch a Harry Potter Lego movie? Because Universal owns that. That, to me is the most intriguing one. I mean, that that sounds like fans could really unite over a Harry Potter franchise with Fantastic Beasts that maybe hasn't been uh, as accepted as it used to be. So that gets yeah, me excited. That's true. This one, I'm being more serious, and I think that this is a real possibility because they've already had a failed universe of this. Universal does own the rights to the monster movies. Oh. You could have Ooh. Universal bring out the Lego monster universe. You could follow a Frankenstein Lego movie. Then you bring out the mummy and you bring out Dracula yeah. in Lego form. That, I think, could warrant something. What do you think about that? 
are you saying we bring in Tom Cruise for a mummy movie? Is that what you're telling oh. me right now, Chris? <laughs> no. no, no, no. There is no Lego on Earth that could capture the magic that is Tom Cruise Austin. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, that's exciting, I guess. <laughs> what I'd really be scared of is that they just mesh these Lego characters into the Illumination world. Because mm. some of the fun of the Lego universe is that it was the idea and the, the way they built up that, yeah, you had Emmett, but he was also surrounded by the Justice League city. You had this uh, Batman Gotham universe. You had all these places. And it's like, I just don't think Universal has that same thing. And I don't know if I'm prepared to see a Lego Minions movie. Nope. Nope. But the real kicker and the actual surprise that might give us a silver lining for like, oh, maybe this was a good idea. Universal recently did struck a deal with Nintendo Entertainment. They're already in the works giving us the Super Mario movie with Illumination. That's set to come out, I believe, in 2022. What are some of these future properties where Nintendo Lego movies? Lego Zelda. Lego Super Smash Bros. Yes. A Lego Luigi movie. That would actually excite me. That might save them and would be a good reason for this deal to happen. That's what do you think, one. Austin? That's the one. I know I said Harry Potter, but this could be a way to shed new light on video game movies. And of course, we want our Nintendo characters done in a different form. Uh, but I've talked about this before on my channel. I'm okay with two things going on at once. We have a Mario movie over here. We have a Lego Mario movie. Man, that is the one to me that sounds incredible. It could be along the lines of what Lego Batman was for Batman. If it's quality, sign me up for that. That sounds great. I'm just surprised. And at the end of the day, we have to kind of, I guess, be happy that Lego just didn't do the obvious choice and partnered with Disney. They have Marvel. They have Star Wars. Hmm. They have endless amounts of IPs now with Fox. It would have made sense to go with them. But then again, there's the Monopoly. I don't think Lego wants to be involved with that. That, that's too much for me, man. I, Disney ruling the world right now in the sense of how many studios and companies that they have, but let's just take Lego movie, the Lego franchise in a different direction. And you mentioned this before, doing the whole live action element that they brought to the first and second Lego movies, I, I think we need to stray away from that as well because that makes it feel too familiar to what they've already done with the franchise. So let's go in a new direction and let's take on some of these universal IPs. I think that would be the only way to compete with the Warner Brothers Lego movies, because once again, I love that first film, man. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Definitely an awesome movie. The point of this is I just want to pay my respects, and I want to go ahead and drip one for the homies that we don't get Emmett. We don't get Will Arnett's Batman. Channing Tatum's Superman is gone. <laughs> it sucks. It's done, and we'll get something new. But I thought, you know, there's people out there who love those characters, and there's kids who grew up with that Emmett, and now it's, it's just gone. It's just... Uh, not here anymore. The, the, the fact that we're never going to hear Will Arnett as Batman again. This is breaking my heart, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Who else is going to say, I'm Batman? Yeah. Except for everyone on the internet. Exactly. <laughs> everyone on the internet and Robert Pattinson will definitely say it. Either way, guys, you let us know what you think of this sad news. Do you think Universal was the right company to go with to make the new future Lego movies? How do you feel about this current Lego universe just being completely Thanos snapped out of existence? And don't forget to go follow my friend Austin Burke on his YouTube channel. He does a lot of great Netflix reviews and anything streaming is always on top of that. Austin, where can the good people find you? Chris, thank you so much for having me, man. I, I do things like you mentioned, talk about Netflix and streaming movies and TV shows all the time on my channel. We also have a podcast together called Film Strippers, where we do a weekly show. We talk all things movie news. So if you like Chris's videos, come over there, check us out. Chris, always a pleasure, man. And uh, you're popping up on my channel here within the next couple of hours or days. So be on the lookout for that as well. But as always, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3 Film Review. As always, I've been Chris. Take care.